Uh, welcome, uh, it's uh, Paul Martin speaking here from Kitty Kitty Roa Hamilton at Hamilton Boys High. We have a, another Super 8 game. We've got uh, Hamilton Boys High versus Gisborne. Gisborne Boys High for the Super 8 round Robin games. And it also on the line is the Moaska Cup. So uh, all and welcome, uh, welcome to everyone who are listening in. And um, who would believe that the suns have come out because we've had some horrible rain and uh, hopefully the wind has dried out enough for the, to make this a great spectacle. Um, to my right, we've got Stefan West. Kia ora, Stefan. Oh, kia ora, Paul. It's uh, great to be here on this uh, Atahua day today. So absolutely looking forward to, uh, you know, a bit of union and uh, hopefully a bit of a game that goes from edge to edge. So um, on the backfield, you are the second 15 coach. Uh, how did that go? How did the, how the field hold up the, back there? Hey, look, I can tell you it was a bit of a pond at the back there uh, earlier on in the week, Paul, but look, the sun came out uh, early this morning and uh, it wasn't as bad as uh, what was first made up. So, yeah, great great game uh, out on the back there from, from both uh, Turangatani and, and Kirikiriro and hopefully we can see another great spectacle uh, with this first 15 clash. So as we, uh, there's a bit of a slight breeze coming through, probably a bit of a northerly, northeasterly. Um, the sun's out as we see. It was hard to believe after, the, you know, the trench almost storm and and the, and the rain is staying away. What we're going to do is, uh, as the two teams come out, we're going to just go through the team today. Um, Hamilton Boys High, Brayton Leggy is number one. Tom McCarthy two. William Martin number three. Jamie Brewer number four. Tama Hodgson number five. Liam Sturm comes at number six. Ollie Mathis is uh, number seven with as a co-captain. Liam Anderson is number eight. Mac Rush comes at number nine. Ten is Rangawai Lunovic. Brody Robinson number eleven. Kalis Potoko is at number twelve. Aki Tui Valala is at number thirteen. Zach Coffey number fourteen. Number fifteen Peyton Spencer. So that's the the start run out fifteen as the second fifteen uh, get ready over ready for to welcome those boys coming out. And in the reserves there, the impact players, the IPs is number 16, Inga Kokohu, um, Raha Palmer, 17, Christian McEwen, 18, number 90, Manaya Williams is at number 19, 20, Mitchell Swan, 21, Hiraka Waitai Hainga, and number 22 is Curtis Hana. So with the Gisborne team, as uh, Gisborne come rocking out there, we've got... Um, Number one is Zeki Collier, Nathaniel Karakia Niwa, number two, Fetu McGee, McGee is at number three, Kaiha Gates at number four, Joe Kemp, number five, number six, Dylan Bronland, number seven, Braith Ingram, Ruben Faitari at number eight, so that's the Ford pack for Gisborne. Number nine, Israel Fox, Carlos Hihi at number ten, Luca Russell, number eleven, Puna Hihi, number twelve, thirteen, King. Maxwell, Taimana, Teneti is number 14. Cohen Lofia, Lofler is uh, number 15. So that completes us. Gisborne has run out, uh, just getting ready for the Huckers and Boys High coming out, which go through the reserves for Gisborne. Josiah Kiohahu, um, Levi Cameron, just late changing, number 17. Luke Bidwa, number 18. Ben Phelps, number 19. Liam Beatty, number 20. And number 21, Isaiah Fox, Xavier Tuyu. Tua Pawa at number 22 and as Hamilton boys are run out with the Moaska Cup and looking back on the, the history there is um, Gisborne have won it back in 1980 as the boys clapping out to the there's a bit of an old timers day today here um, at breakfast and in 83 the Gisborne have won it and also in 93 so they've won it three times this is the third defence of the Moaska Cup the Hamilton boys high Third one today uh, after taking it off uh, Rotorua. Just get ready for the two huckers.
two kura there with some proud tradition and looks like Giz Turangatani are going to be up for the battle uh, today Paul yeah by uh, hopefully they've replaced some of that uh, the, the grass there because <laughs> <laughs> we need all the grass we can but uh, great reply there from Gisborne and Hamilton uh, Tani Faro. so fantastic and uh, we'll just get a a check uh, with the referees the officials uh, we're just kind of um, going to get some comms there. All in redness, but great to see the sun come out. We just got a little change here from Gisborne. Just be notified, Latrell Walker does come in for Luke Boudoir. Okay, so he comes in at number 18, and number 17 is Levi Cameron. So just got that late change. Um, two proud, proud schools there. Good hucker. Laying down the challenge as the boys just take off the, uh, the Wasker Cup. might be another little cup in there that we'll find we'll get a, we'll find out a little bit more about that one I'm not sure what that one is there so <laughs> so as we go referee whistles kicking off that looks like Carlos Hihi is kicking off over the top there. Taken in by, looks like Tama Hodson. Good ball, Macross gets the ball in there. Jamie Brewer's in ready, going to take the ball in. Nice little set up over the ball there. It's a good ball. Hard to pick out with these lines. It's a little faint. The rain's washed them away a little bit. That's um, Tupuku coming in there. Cross kick, bit of an exit play. The back three are ready for it though for Gisborne. Bringing it back in. Loffler, he's caught in a nice big tackle there as they regroup. Half back, we've got uh, Israel Fox sends it out to his big forward, rumbling it up there. Good, good yardages there, good yardages. But oh, around the back door, that's a great pass. We couldn't quite finish it off there for his winger. It's like Russell. Good start coming in here. Fox again, burrowing in there. Big tidy prop, uh, Lucy prop there. Collier just knocks it backwards, but no knock on. Boys high coming up fast as well. Back door trying to get it out wide, trying to loosen. And that looks like it's out to, to Nettie. He's going to have a go. Oh, it's a good tackle there by Liam Anderson. Place back though, good continuity by Grisbane. Good tackle there, McCarthy and Liam Anderson in there again. Fox out to, looks like the hooker there. Karakia Niwa coming in with all the lock there. <laughs> Not the greatest pass there. You don't really want to be getting a hospital pass. The ball's out and Amelie Boyce have won it. Oti Mathis, Oli Mathis is good in there. They're going to the right. Macross digs it in. William Martin, he takes it in. Big solid tackle there. Got advantage out. Referee. Offside, there we go. Tama Hodson, he takes it in. Knocked on over the ground there. Makaras again looking for it. Back in the inside and all the way through there. Looks like Lunovic trying to get in the action. Coming back though. Obviously might be offside. Quick play. Good continuity by Gisborne. Yeah, great work there from Kitty Kitty Roa. They're able to defend that, um, you know, the, those strikes there from uh, Turangatani. And they eventually drove them backwards and then got the turnover pull and ended up with the ball. So opportunity here for Kitty Kitty Roa to plug the corner and uh, strike off their line out. Yeah, looks like they're going to go for that line out. Uh, yep, so Lunovic. Good, good kick into the wind. Oh, it's not found touch. It's back, batted back inside. Gisborne reclaim it. They'll look for an exit play. Not a lot to move. Not a lot to move. Collier, good tackles going in there. Good chop tackles there by Lege. Exit play. Not a lot of room to move there. Looked like Fox. Sorry, um, Carlos Hihi there. Um, clearing out. Giving the Hamilton boys high. Just on the 22. No score. The wind, the wind's changed slightly. It's just coming back on a bit more of a westerly now. So it was a northerly. Now it's just slowly coming across the pitch. The pitch as a, as a westerly. It's picked up. It's a good throw there by McCarthy. Down, hold. Holding it up. Lunovic. Out to Tupuku. Ali Mathis in the back line. Good, good yards there. Left a bit isolated, but the forwards are there. Leggy's just dropped the ball there. It's carried on, playing advantage. 
And then they'll come back. Just knocked out in that tackle. The geek. Kitty Kitty Raw, a little bit guilty of just not executing, you know, missing touch and then uh, dropping the ball there. So Turangatani have an opportunity now to get their uh, exit right and play down the right end of the field. Yeah, that yeah, just a uh, straight running. Good little bit of defence, forced the forced the error there. First scrum of the game, set piece. Here we go. We have got um, a bit of a match up here with um, McGee versus um, Leggy on the side. Uh, first scrum of the match. We'll see how they pack down as they call engage. Looking pretty solid. Look a bit unstable there. What's the referee going to do? Going to reset this one, or are we going to? Yeah, we'll reset. <laughs> and referee causes a, a set. Tight set there, all ready to go. A bit of pressure on though. Not sure. It's going to call there. It's just a little bit unstable there. Um, it was kind of going sideways. Uh, with this new rule, they only have a, a free kick, but he's uh, letting them have a bit of a feel out. How are the scrums in, uh, in your game? Oh, Turangatani, big, strong. Uh, full pack poor so yeah um, definitely a battle bit of a war at uh, scrum time so that was uh, Stefan West who's uh, co-commentator today and also the second 15 coach here we go third time lucky very rarely do we three see re resets waiting for the pressure and um, oh, it's a good push there by Hamilton Boys High pressure on halfback Fox he gets it out to his wing and that's um, that's uh, Tanetti he hoists it wide and long and out so out of jail there, Gisborne. Under pressure from that scrum. Throwing into the wind here. It looks like a full line out, or almost full. Oh, they can have a short five, four man line out. Nice, nice lorry there, low throw, clearing out Lunovic. Takes out to Chupuku and as they've got the Brewer, he takes it in, he just about pops it off, he did the right thing there, just holding it on. Now get, getting burnt downtown, that's a great little nudge. Coming in here, and Tanetti, oh, he's left it behind. Robinson pops out the back door and Brayton Spencer comes in, all out of nothing. Um, hard luck, just the ball just got stuck in the ground there. Tanetti was just... It just got stuck right in the mud. Unfortunate error there. Um, well done, the Hamilton boys are picking up on the, on the, uh, pouncing on that ball, but um, just unfortunate, just the ball just kind of stopped in, in mid motion in a little hole. Yeah, you got a feel for time under there who uh, they got caught with the ball, but you know, excellent uh, execution from uh, Rangiwa Lunovic to plug that corner. And I've been really impressed, Paul, with his uh, development over the last uh, 18 months. He's really learned how to drive the, Drivers uh, team around the park, so yeah, good to see uh, Kitty Kitty all get their uh, execution right this time. Yeah, and it was a bit, you know, the end normally on a on a dry day, that ball would have bounced all the way to the corner, but it just a little dribble and then just stopped in. And uh, but I'm sure I'm sure that Gisborne will come back hard. They're a proud proud school, and um, they played some really good. We've been watching them actually, Stefan. Uh, through that they've had some really good games and, and some pretty close games there. I saw the Tauranga game and um, there wasn't much in it until the last 10 minutes. So uh, they play a good, positive game. Yes. Brayton Spencer, it's ready for the kick. It's pretty much headlong into the wind into that corner. Taking it through and nail it low. That's the way and it's just off. So. No conversion there. You can just see how much the, the wind is, uh, is, is in effect. So if you just joined us, uh, Gisborne had the ball for the, you know, uh, the majority of the ball, the, the position for the, about the first five minutes. And there's a couple of turnovers. Hamilton boys high have just slowly got into the game and uh, with a couple of 
errors, but now uh, just pouncing on something to score that. So it's 5 0. As Fox kicks off. Oh, good takeoff. Good slap back there by uh, Dylan Bronland. He's come through. And uh, Gisborne got the ball. That's great effort there by Gisborne to, get, to win that set piece. I think. Quick tap. Quick tap there. And, uh, Gisborne with the ball, wanting to get on with it. Collier takes the ball up again. Nice big tackles there. Double two man tackle there. Fox ferreting in there. No way through there. Aiming the boys high over the ball though. Mac Russ. Okay. He thought it was out. But that's uh, the referee's right there. Um, so didn't quite time that one there, Mac Russ. And as we get um, Carlos Hihi. Carlos Hihi just kicks it into touch there. Gisborne having a bit of a, a quarter roll. It'll be interesting to see what Tūrangatāni do here, Paul. You know, just outside the 22, uh, whether or not they decide to maul or whether they strike through the middle or strike wide. Uh, it's a good opportunity for them and they're playing uh, down the right end of the field. So well, let's see what they can do. All in, good take there by Gisborne. He's slow off the mark there though, Fox, and that's laboured in there, so they've got some ground now. Just making the advantage line from the, the line out. Fox ferreting in there. He's got, a, he's got uh, I think it's uh, McGee there, taking it up. Good tackle there on the ground. So they're good at continuity. They're good at holding on to their position. And it looks like one of their flankers there. Uh, or it might be the... Head high. Must have been the clean out, I think, there, Stefan. He's got a head high, so it might have been the clean out after that. Um, excuse me if I, um, just getting some names to numbers at the moment. Uh, the Gisborne numbers are quite hard to read, so I'm just, if I get a couple of names wrong, get, try and correct them. I think it might have been yeah, the flanker there. I think it was Dylan Bronlin that got the kick off there. A fantastic tape of Gisborne and put a bit of pressure on Hamilton Boys High. Five-man line-out. Long take there. Macrus, Lunovic, to Pukul, Mathis. He bounces off one, two. He's still holding in there. Is he isolated? No, he's got support. Off the back door, we've got Leggy. Macrus in there again, looking for the ball. Liam Anderson, he pops it out the back door. Linovich again, nice little kick. Will it stay in the, will it find that other hole that it found before? Yeah, to tell you, it doesn't bounce very, it, could, it's, uh, it doesn't bounce very uh, favorably. Uh, another good kick off the side foot, almost a banana kick there, Stefan. I think he's been watching a bit too much uh, NRO and a bit of Andrew Johns from the, the Newcastle Knights. But again, I don't know why Linovich is uh, driving this, his side around beautifully. And, you know, um, let's see what, uh, or how Turangatani respond here. He's gotten some good pass off there and he was here, yeah, definitely kicked as a fastball. Good ball there from Gisborne. Looks like Bronlin there taking in that line out. Storming up the middle there, looks like a, I think it looked like a um, Punahihi there. And good exit play there. That's a, that's a fantastic uh, job there by uh, Gisborne to get out of that. Obviously using the wind on this right hand side. Um, good line out, boom, exit, well done. And, uh, there's a couple of names in there. The he he. I could they could potentially be uh, with the stature. Here we go down the back there. Macross, Lunovic, Topoko again, and running into a wall of uh, traffic there with Gisborne. Good D coming up. There's a lot of a lot of D coming through. Bailulu. Zach Coffey, he takes the ball in, but it's on the outside there. Gone into touch. I think the ball just spat out the side there. First, uh, first touch of uh, Tuiva Lala there. 
hasn't got past them yet at the stage. They've been just driving through that middle. I didn't quite see what happened. There's that coffee took the ball in and it looked like maybe a pass out the back door. And looking, <laughs> Stefan and I are looking directly into the eyeballs of the sun here. So. Oh, knock on over there. So we're having a scrum. Gisborne ball. Probably the fourth scrum of the day. A um, couple of resets. And uh, we've got number seven. He's forgotten to go in the scrum. Come on. <laughs> He's hiding. <laughs> I think you might notice that the, the, the missing one there. He might have thought it was a line out, maybe. So, Hammond Boys High had a bit of heat on Grisbane in the last scrum. Let's see if this one's a little bit more cleaner for both sides. Crunching down. And it's another bit of a bit of pressure on. Coming back to middle, he he. He's in there, but the flankers are all over him from Hamilton Boys High. Out the back door again. As in, I think that's um, Ingram. Ingram taking the ball in there. Good clean outs there by Gisborne. Always low ball there, but well packed up there by the hooker. That's um, Karakia Niwa. He's got his headgear on. Bronlin, great little gap there, trying to get through. Could have offloaded there, would have been good. Oh, good, getting messy in there. But not sure. Oh, it's a player on the ground, not rolling. So good clean-outs here by Boys High, but I think it was uh, Liam Sturm just got caught in that ruck and he needs to get out of there quicker. So, fair call. Referee. That's a high up and under. That one's uh, got a bit of... It's caught the wind on that one, so that's good smart play from... Uh, I think it was um, Carlos. He, he just letting the, letting the uh, air do the work, the wind. Kicking up high. And here we are, five metres out from the 22. Hamilton boys high. Defending. Gisborne got that penalty, so it's Gisborne ball. And I would say that uh, their number one, Dylan Bronlin, who's pretty got much all the line out so far, is their number one jumper. They get him up pretty well. And uh, oh, they've got someone else. Oh, it's gone back through the middle, lost. Tom McCarthy, he's going to take it through, but he's isolated, so, oh, good clean out there, so nice and nice and clean, but Mac Russ under a huge amount of pressure. He's copped one on the way through. Might have been just a stray boot here, Mac Russ, but coming back down. He's out of his 22. If this goes out, we're going all the way back. Yeah, we are. Yep. So, yep, just outside. He just didn't know, you know, um, he, he just didn't quite... It was a good kick to just kind of keep it in play, but... Uh, as we get back up and Hamilton Boys High line out. Looks like they'll have numbers there, a four man line out. Thoughts over the top, might be lost here. Oh, good pick up there by Gisborne. That's a, that's a, a little error there. Up and under. Not a bad play, actually. Oh, it's taken really well there by Peyton Spencer. He's going to go slicing through the middle, lopping up the top to Brady Robinson. He's got someone inside him. Mac Russ. He's, oh, he's passed it to, to Gisborne. Had it set up. Mac Russ, is, that's well read by Gisborne. And I think it was the fullback coming through, Cohen Loffler. I think it was. And that's really well read because Mac Russ was trying to get on the, on the line. It's back into Ludovic. He's going to go wide again. Peyton, he's looking for gaps as well. He's going for the lodge over the top. No one's in behind. I think me... Mihi is, he's down there, oh, a little, a little step, he's, he's isolated, oh, he gets it away, well done, that's great play, but they're all over them, uh, Hamilton Boys High, said so a lot of pressure, um, but they've got out of jail a couple of times, Gisborne, and uh, this looks like another one, so the big prop, there he goes, he's coming through, and that's um, McGee, Fetchy McGee, taking it through, and as we go, another one, it's gone back for the exit play, and uh, a bit of pressure on there from Mac Russ, good exit play, good play by Gisborne. Yeah, great. Great exit there from Turangatani, and they got it right this time. And previously put themselves under a little bit of pressure by uh, not quite getting the ball out. And Peyton Spencer uh, dashed down the 50-metre uh, channel here. So let's see what uh, Kirikiriroa can do with this uh, line-out strike, Paul. Yeah, it's almost that's um, great play by Gisborne to kind of get that. It just really shut shut down Mac Russ. And uh, good take there by Hamilton. Hamilton was high coming out. Lunovic, leg wide one hits the ground, pops it up. 
Peyton Spencer, he's, he's isolated though. He's going to have to get work hard on that. And now the ball's safe. That was uh, looking touch and go. Not a lot of support. Mac Russ comes in and Brewer takes it up one way. He knows the straight through. Good presentation there. Mac Russ, Willie Martin, little tip ball into Liam, Liam Anderson and cleaned out over the top. The ball's there again. Brewer out the back door. It's coming loose and low. We've got um, Tui Valala. And Ollie Mathis is coming in here. Some good tackles coming in by Gisman. Oh, popped up on Ollie Mathis. Mathis to Brody Robinson. He takes it through. Good little interplay here. But Gisman up to the challenge in defense. Coming through. Leggy, he passes it out. Good pass. Left hand for the prop. Comes in Liam Anderson. Over there. Tom McCarthy. Will Martins. Thus sealing off. Mac Russ. Good defense by Gisman. No, getting it out. Oh, big tackle there on Lunovic. It's knocked down. Looks like it's play on. I saw a knock down there, but... I don't think the ref was in a position to see that. But now Lunovic, he's going to settle it down. He loves this little corner here. He loves it. That's a great corner. He's loving that. That's a great kick. That's the third kick he's put in there. He's got it on the string at the moment. As you say, he's Stefan. He's, uh, he's really come of age. Oh, great, great kick there again from Lunovic. And really liking the work of Kirikiri Roa to switch up the tempo from, you know, um, high tempo phases to uh, slowing it down and getting into, you know, certain... Uh, facets of play so let's see what, how uh, Turangatani respond there with their line out and uh, they got to work hard to try and exit it uh, out of their own half pool. Yeah and you know as I said through this through the year the, the points uh, on the table don't really give uh, Gisman much credit because they've been playing really well. Short ball here oh not straight so that's hard, hard luck but as I was saying uh, you know Gisman proud and they um, definitely have been playing some really good code and you can just see it at the moment. They're really hanging on to make sure that uh, they keep in the game. Uh, just got a bit of an injury, uh, injury break. So wherever you are, um, welcome um, to Kirikiri Roa. Um, it's 5-0 at the moment. I um, hope you're enjoying watching this. Um, big thanks to Multi Television to, for supporting getting this coverage. Um, also, there's a few sponsors that uh, I'd like to thank. Um, Caltex, uh, Pure Athletic, um, leading apparel through New Zealand, um, New Zealand Carbon Farming and Multi Television. So a big thanks to them to supporting getting this free to wear and also uh, trying to encourage all kids to participate. That's what we want. And I must say, in the Waikato, we have got a lot of Rugby players and it's definitely in the secondary schools, boys and girls, and uh, this year has been uh, a fantastic year for getting it out on the grass. So we are very happy here at Waikato. <laughs> so here we go, getting back into it. That injury was just a bit of a breath, a breath, getting a bit of a breather there. Gisbert. Scrum. First scrum for Hamilton Boys High. Nice easy set. They're going to go up. No, good set. Strong. He's going wide. It's Ollie Mathis going to go open. He's pretty quick. He's pretty fast. He's over. He's pretty hard to stop. Little, little show and go at the back there. Gisbert didn't know which way they were going. Good set there. Good set piece. Nice and steady. And Liam Anderson nicely controlled there. Oli Mathis, he had about three tackles to get through. Definitely one of his strengths, Oli Mathis. He's a great ball carrier. Um, you know, Post-contact metres is awesome. So, you know, uh, could he could do it all smart to uh, profile that and, and use him at number eight um, without giving away too much pull um, and, and use him as best they can uh, off the back of the scrum. Yeah, well, the uh, Hamilton boys high, their, their loose forwards are um, they're not the, the biggest uh, loose forwards you've seen but they're all very interchangeable and very fast, and um, they do a huge amount of work. Uh, but it all starts up front, good set piece, and um, Peyton Spencer gets ready. We'll see, uh, it's pretty much identical to where he took the last conversion, in which uh, just ricocheted off the left-hand post. He was, um, he's going low and hard because it's into the wind, which he would do, and um, we'll see if he can correct his last conversion. Strikes it, it's gone to the right this time, and it's gone off the other post. Oh, nice come back to the ricochet there. So we have 10-0, uh, um, and 
10 to nil, and we have two tries, one to Ollie Mathis and one to Peyton Spencer. Yeah, I think if Peyton Spencer was 18, he uh, probably should buy a lottery ticket there, Paul, because uh, a little bit unlucky to hit uh, both uprights, but kick off here from Turangatane to get us underway again, and as Aringiwa Lunovic passes the ball out to uh, Liam Anderson, who carries hard into the contact. Kirikiriro ready to exit as Aringiwa uh, plugs the corner. Let's see how Turangatane respond. It's good kick, he's loving that corner, Lunovic. Getting wide, Gisbin. Hee hee, good step, S solid, gets it in there. Whoa, might be isolated, might be isolated, might be lost. No, Gisbin have retained it. McGee lines up, he's ready to go, he's a good straight runner. Gets in there, makes some grounds for his team. Good solid play by the front rower. But now they're shuffling back in. Oh, it's a low. Oh, great pick up there by um, Bronlin. But all the tackle there, great, great pick up. Two-man tackle by Hamilton Boys High. Flick it again. McGee, he loves the work, doesn't he? He gets in there, um, rolled on there, a little bit isolated. But no, they're coming back left and right. Mihi kicks it up high. Hopefully he can keep it in. Yep, Peyton's in there. Probably didn't need to jump there, but it's all right. Well, he's got it knock on. Uh, maybe you just thought that there was a little bit of uh, pressure coming his way. Um, for the jump. It's all good. As we get set for a set piece. Get set. Gisborne ball. It's a good set there by Hamilton Boys High coming in there. But yeah, it's a good scrum there. It's coming back, bit of pressure. And um, oh, he's got his hand up. No, he didn't. No, he's letting it go. Okay, so we got yep, the number eight taken in there, and that's um Fightery. Coming through, looks like Bronwyn, Bronwyn there. He's going to take him. He's a good active player. Um, getting there. Oh, it's been taken away. Well, too late. He puts the ball through. He's chasing hard. And I think we've got um, Loffler. He's he's securing the ball there. But the Hamilton boys are over the ball. Looks like it's stolen. The counter ruck is coming over. It's one. Matt Russ gets it. They need to get wide. But Gisborne have got, got numbers there. McGee, good tackle there. Still got the ball presented. Oh, Leggy, he looks for it, but no one's there. He gets over, can he? Yep, they get there. Mac Russ, he gets it out. Lunovic, the ball's very, 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 very sloppy. Brayton Spencer, he's just going to take it right through the middle. There he goes. Good tackle there. Popped up. Leggy, he looks for someone. He's going through the middle. He's looking to offload. Mac Russ is coming through. Good stuff, but he looks like he's been collared there. Good driving through the middle there. Looks like they want the ball. They want the ball at the back here. Or they might just hold it in. I think Tom McCarthy, he wants to hold it in. Jamie Brewer, Tama Hodson, they're going to get it wide now. Lunovic, Peyton Spencer, miss pass. Brody Robinson, he's going to have a show and go. Someone's, uh, Brayton Spencer's uh, down on the background. Might have been hit, hit a little bit late there. Um, coming through. And driving over. It's very close. Very, very close, and it looks like a very, very close in there. Grinding away, Hamilton boys are grinding away, grinding away. Liga, he's going to have another crack at it. He's pushed back and repelled back. He's got Brewer and Martin outside. Matt Russ is looking. He's going to pass. Oh, Martin, he's going to have a crack. Is he over? Not quite. Good straight. Good straight pass there. Good running. Coming in. Liga, he's going to have another go. He's reach out. Is he close? Okay. He's got the ball, they're jumping over the top, it's Jamie Brewer, he jumps over the top, it's a try, Superman. Well, he dived into that try like uh, Michael Phelps, what, a, what an awesome try there from uh, Jamie Brewer, and Kirikiriro did a great job of uh, using their forwards, uh, identifying that Peyton Spencer was uh, out of the play uh, on the ground there, winded, and so just nudged the forwards and carried towards the posts, and should be an easy kick for uh, uh, Rangiwai Lunovic, who's probably going to take over the kicking responsibilities here, Paul. So, awesome work there from Kirikiriro. Thanks, Stefan. I'm just uh, just trying to get a hold of some of the names for our 
our officials. We uh, cannot play a game without match officials. And we've got a couple of young guys as ARs and in the middle, and he's doing a great job. So for all the volunteers around New Zealand and in Waikato, if you're a referee, we thank you. Right. Peyton Spins got a little bit, bit winded in the background there. Looks like he's all right. He's, uh, so Lunovic is going to take over. So third time lucky for Hamilton Boys High. We've hit left-hand post, hit the right-hand post. This one hopefully should go down the middle. There you go, third time lucky. So Lunovic come and settle, settle down the, the uh, conversions. Quite a rumble, and I've been pretty impressed with um, Gisman. They've been their defense is good, and but discipline for both teams has been pretty good. A few knock ons in here and there, but uh, um, yeah, a bit of a Superman dive. There's no way through, that's for sure. So, um, Jamie Brewer had to find a different way, and that was right over the top. Just a big shout out here to Sam, the cameraman. He's um, he's on the camera today, pretty big job with one camera, so he's doing a fantastic job. Here we go. He coming in. He kicks off. Fantastic kid. He's great at those kickoffs right in them. Just before the thing there uh, for the 22. Another curving around. That's knocked in back into touch by um, Tanetti. Oh, he slipped over. He's isolated. He's not going to get out of that one. Even if someone comes in. Yeah, too slow getting in there. Unfortunate. That's the wet weather here at Hamilton. The old studs. Went long enough to keep him up there. It's Tanetti. He just uh, probably needed to offload that and get, get out of jail. So, yeah, Carl, Carlos Hehe kicking off there. He's got a great style. And uh, I'm kicking the ball. Beat. Beat. Kicking off into the corner. Lunovic, five metres out. Line out. So they go to work, they might try something a little bit different here. Defence from Gisborne has been pretty stout. So we'll just see what uh, Hamilton Boys High looks like, a full line out here. Tom McCarthy gets ready to throw. Gisborne all looks like they're going to stay on the ground here. Getting it up there. So Liam Anderson takes the ball. It's a shift move coming through. Grinding through on the other side. They've got momentum. Hamilton Boys High, they're going to go all the way, I think. It's hard to stop. It's hard to stop unless they pull it down. Surely must be a try. It's in there. That's a well-worked try. And who comes up with it? The whole forward pack. There's the pats on the back. Oh, that might be Will Martin. Will Martin there. Good stuff. Little. It's hard to know when we've got about eight forwards in there. Someone comes up with a fighting on the ground. I've had that when I've been playing Stefan. The forwards fight over the ball. Um, but Will Martin uh, gets a dot there. Five, five point up. Great dot there from uh, Will Martin. Must must take up, take after his old man there, Paul. So, look, uh, Kitty Kitty at all, their, their go-to this year has been uh, their moors, and they've ex executed that well to uh, put themselves further in the lead. Good stuff. So, Lunovic, so the referee's just having a chat about something. I'm not sure what that was about, but uh, no. We haven't got any replays or anything like that, so... Oh, it's so good to be out in the sun. It's incredible how much rain the whole of New Zealand's had. You know, the umbrellas and the gumboots have been out in force. Um, I haven't been able to mow my lawn, Stefan. Um, so this is going to dry them out. This will be great. So Lunovic, he's taken over the duties from Peyton Spencer. And I must say, yeah, he has uh, come a long way this year. Getting better and better. He's going right into the teeth of the wind here. He steps back one, he comes back in, solid, and it's going to curve. No, it's not. Wind is playing havoc today. So Linovic unconverted, so that is... 15, uh, no, 17, 17-0, I think. 
We'll just check that scores it. 22, 22 0. And we just got an update. Here we go. Um, Bren Brownlee is the referee today. He's in the middle. Ben Brownlee, up and coming referee. Doing a good job. He he kicks off. And Tama Hodge is on the run. Great tackle there, though, by, by uh, the centre, King Maxwell, coming through. He polished him up pretty good and proper. Mac, Mac Russ got the box kick up. That's a great little kick. It's going to find some grass. Oh, no, it's come back in. So that's um, Loffler offloads it. Tanetti, he comes through. He wants to make up for last time he got isolated. He's coming through. Good little run there. Grinding it up. Oh, knock on there, Brown Brownlee. Um, so unlucky there. Um, unfortunately for the young man, he's, uh, he's had a great game so far. He's the go-to man in their lineouts and uh, got a great tap pack on the kickoff there. So, you know, we'll re he'll uh, reboot, reset as they say, and uh, get back into it. They uh, certainly don't, these Super 8 teams certainly don't uh, drop their heads at any stage of these games. So probably about the sixth scrum this today, fifth or sixth scrum, Hamilton Boys High Ball. Now we've got split back line here. So anything can happen. Right in the middle of the, the field. Very hard to defend, actually. Especially with these flankers. Um, they can go either way. Good scrum. Nice and steady, nice and straight. Liam Anderson, possibly... Matt Cross, he's going to go for that corner. It's come off the side of his boot. Is that Cobb? He's got the ball. He's coming through. It's a great run for him. Can he get inside? And it's over. That's a great try. It was kind of a little wind a bit pear shaped that uh, that kick. Um, and he's uh, he's put his hand up. Is he going to have a chat to the linesman? I'm pretty sure from where we saw it, it looked pretty good. But um, defense, yep, he's called it. Zach Coffey picks the ball up on the volley. Matt Cross had kind of come off the side of his boot. And pick up by Zach Coffey, who's he's scoring a few tries this year. Zach, um, so great play there. Great play there, Paul. And you know, Mac Russ, I'm not sure he was meant to kick it uh, quite like that, but uh, Zach Coffey's execution there to get that ball and just go go for that corner. So another uh, good try there for uh, Kitty Kitty Doodle. Yeah, Zach Coffey's got a, uh, he's quite unorthodox when he runs. He can, you don't, it looks like he's actually going to pass it back in. So that's why you see the defense kind of trying to stay off him. And then uh, good good play there. I think it was pretty much, I think it was Loeffler or Tanetti, one of the two coming across on the cover. So good work on them to get there and almost forced a bundle them into touch. But the referee's right on hand. And uh, as we get Linovich coming back. Um, And this has got the wind coming on his right side. So the wind's coming directly towards the camera. And if it was me, if I was thinking about kicking this, I'd be kicking for the right post. And it should just drift in. And uh, make sure you keep your head down, follow through. <laughs> I can see a lot of people are kicking. Thinking, what is Paul Martin about kicking? Here he goes. Lunovic, one step back, comes in. Hits it quite hard. Is he going to float around? He's got the legs. It's coming around, but no good. No good. No good on the scoreboard today uh, for that one. So the score is 27. 27 0. And just going back to the uh, just come of the plays here, the Fords ones. It reminds me back in 1987, Stefan of the Morons of College first team. Shades of the Incredibles uh, group that's come out of that 1987 team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're here in 2022, Hamilton Boys High. And uh, it's a great game. He he. Carlos Hee gets ready to kick off. I'm loving the style of this guy, the way he kicks. He is, is a good little general in this uh, team. Kicks off again. Not the same as the last one. Hodgson, oh, just about, oh, it's taking good pressure there. But I think oh, it was pressure by um, King Maxwell coming through. He's put a lot of pressure, and that's half time, but a lot of pressure from Gisborne. They're really good on the kickoffs and um, puts a lot of heat on the. Uh, Come on, boys, so just enough to upset the apple cart there. So half time, we're just going to have a bit of a break. We've got some, um, we'll just have a recap um, of the try scorers. Um, so the first try score was Peyton Spencer, then Ollie Mathis, and then Will Martin and Zach Coffey. Um, 
and uh, I think that's. And we're, we've got one, one conversion. Jamie Boer. And Jamie Boer, that's right. How could we forget the dive over the top, the, the Superman? We'll call him Superman from now on. So, uh, wherever you are, the score is 27 0. Um, Gisborne have been playing in good patches. Um, Boys High have taken their opportunities and struck when, when they're down there and they'll work themselves in a good position. Um, but uh, Gisborne, boy, yeah, you know, they're making it really difficult. They're a good, proud team and they, they just just haven't been able to even get into the 22, but they've been trying. You're exactly right, Paul. Tūranga Tāne, they, they play with a, a lot of mana and we just want to see them play down the right end of the field. It's, they've been uh, under a lot of pressure and having to try and exit out of their own uh, 22 a lot and Kiri Kiri Roa have uh, done an excellent job in executing their strikes. So we'd love to see uh, Tūranga Tāne with a bit more ball in the second half and uh, see what they can come up with in uh, their attack. Just have a little breather here while I... Uh the, uh, the two teams have half time, have a bit of a break. Um, ben Brownlee is the, the man in the middle, doing a great job. Assisted. We'll make sure we get the assistance shortly, make sure we give them a shout out. Just take a little break for two minutes. So uh, welcome back everyone, um, a big kia ora to um, all the Gisborne whanau that have come up to support their team here and also watching online, uh, so big uh, big welcome to, to them and their whanau um, and also to anyone who's called, uh, watching in from overseas, um, I'm pretty sure there's a few people coming in from over that way as well, so uh, big welcome. So we've got 27, 27 nil at the moment, um, just going over, Peyton Spencer scoring try, Ollie Mathis uh, Jamie Brewer, Will Martin and Zach Coffey are the try scorers and one conversion to uh, Lunovic 
I am uh, joined with Stefan West from Hamilton Boys High as a teacher here and also a, one of the coaches, second 15. Um, your assessment of the first half? Yeah, I think uh, Kiriki Rudo have uh, executed uh, quite well. Paul, they've um, scored a lot of uh, great tries off um, a few of Turangatani's mistakes and really hoping to see Turangatani get, a, get an opportunity to, to play down the other end, end uh, in the second half and uh, score, score a couple of tries anyway. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're real positive. As I've mentioned before, I've been watching these guys and they play a real positive look. They're all ready to go. <laughs> so they're a real positive bunch and... Um, and, uh, you know, they're keen to get into it. Um, a few hard workers, I think, you know, like obviously McGee, Tyler Prop for Gisborne is working pretty hard, um, taking the ball up, and also um, Joe Kemp, the lock, and also Bronden as well. Um, as we kick off, Linovich kicking it low and hard. Oh, it's well well picked up there, though. And uh, as they fly into it, Gisborne full of intent to help their mate out there. Uh, so they've got the ball. Fox giving it out to Bronden there. Or it might be Kemp, actually. Sorry, Kemp. Um, Fox got the ball. It's stolen. Stolen by Boyce. Oh, Tom McCarthy takes it through the middle. And big, big run up there. Sealed off there. Just take it away there. The play up high. Jamie Brewer, he's coming in. Driving through with his leg drive there. Sealed off by Boyce High players. Leggy, he's taking the ball. He's looking for a show and go. No one on the inside. Gisborne too slow to get over that ball. Macross again. Lunovic, he's going to have a little bit of a show and go. Looking for that inside ball as well. Uh, we've got one change on there. We'll have a look at that. Tom McCarthy. Uh, and looks like we've got Peyton Spencer might have come off there. Will Martin, he takes it in. Big tackle there. Big collision there. Um, by I think it was he the number 12 there. And Tom McCarthy again. Coming out. Lunovic again. He's looking for inside, outside. And oh, a nice little slip through. 21. That's all. Liam Stern picking inside. Oh, it's two, three players. Bam, style. It's not. Oh, it's Peyton Spencer. It's kicked through, no knock on. Gisborne have got it. So we've got, um, we've got Isaiah Fox has come. Sorry, not Isaiah Fox. We've got Hidaka Waiti Hoenga has come on for number 12. Uh, on, on number 21, we'll just see who's come on to replace. It wasn't Peyton Spencer, he's still on. Hamilton Boys High, how Ollie Mathis, he's coming through. Big tackle there, pretty high. He's got it too. A little bit of a high shot there, playing advantage. Jamie Brewer, he's going to go in there. Loves running hard, this fella. The Superman dive before. He's over there. Well sealed off there by Boyce High. There's a bit of a scuffle in the back plate. So no point about scuffling over there, boys, because... Right. Um, so anyway, it's been settled down. Yeah, so I think he might go back for that high shot over there first. But... Um, Bit of a scuffle, bit of a push and shove. So who have we got that? Um, who have we got coming on there, uh, Stefan? So Kalis Patuku has come off, and he's been replaced by Hiraka Waitai Hainga. Okay, so just one replacement there. Yeah, Hiraka, young year 11 from uh, Kirikiriroa, and he's got a lot of school for for a young guy. And be interesting to see how he um, makes the most of his uh, second half opportunity. So there was a bit of a um, bit of a high shot over that far side. The referee's just having a look. Uh, um, nothing too too uh, bit of an issue there. But uh, good play there. Boys high just kind of stealing the ball there where um, Gisborne looked like they were set up. Um, the captain, which is uh, Carlos Hehe, just having a chat. Um, so that was for a high sh high tackle, and boys high get the ball. I think they'll go for a line out. Which has been working for them well. So we kick into touch. Hamilton Boys High on attack. Another great opportunity for Kirikiriroa to let's see if they can uh, score another try off their mall as they uh, did in the first half pause. So. so here we go. Gisborne pretty good at defending. Couple opportunist tries, boys high putting pressure on. So here we go in the middle, Tama. No, so that's Liam Anderson. Oh, it's around the front door. Legs, Leggy, he's got there, he's just about over. He's rolling, he's on his back. Oh, he's held up. He was looking for that pass too, but Gisborne actually stole it. So what have we got here? It's offside. 
Oh no, so it's held up, sorry. It's a line out drop, it's a drop out. So Leggy was just, he looked like he was going to pop it through like a basketball style, but he couldn't quite get it and then rolled on his back. It's going to be a drop out 22. He he, the captain is going to uh, kick off. I wouldn't imagine he goes short because there's a wall of Hamilton boys high players there. He's going up, it's long, it's a short one, just to the 22. And Liam Sturm gets it. Gate comes in as a great tackle there. Well and truly wrapped up by Gisborne defence. Tama Hodgson, he wants to take it forward. Driving through, McGee's in there. Good clean out there by William Martin. Back door, Mike Russ, Lunovic. And playing a just... So Tuiva Lala just taking the ball up. Haven't seen much of him today. So we've got Wai Waito Hang is taking the ball and he's made a fist of it. Mac Russ gets the ball out. A lot of pressure there. A little late tackle there, but he's okay. Bit of push and shove here. Coming through. Oh, there's a, oh you've got, yep, Lunovic, he's uh, he's definitely, uh, no, nah, he was, thought he was going to be isolated there. It's a bit of pressure on. And I think it's, it's starting to get a little bit pear-shaped here because it's a, that was a bit clumsy there, though. It looked like coming through. Um, I think it was... Uh, Gate. Um, no, it might be Dylan Brock. No, it might be Ingram actually. Hard to see on those lights. I think it's Ingram. Um, so just trying to keep a little bit of composure here. It's getting a little bit messy around the rucks and walls. And uh, kicking into touch there. Another line out. few changes uh, coming on for Kirikiriro. It seems uh, Rahuruhi Palmer on there for uh, Brayton Liggy. So let's see if Kirikiriro can uh, execute this line out. A little bit guilty of uh, not quite uh, taking advantage of that uh, short side where uh, Tom McCarthy was open and uh, had, a, had a good sniff to the try line. As uh, Ben the referee uh, calls play to a halt. Just a bit of a change there. I think uh, McGee's going off. The prop's done a great job. Um, always going forward, looking after his teammates in there. So he's had a great job, the tidy prop. Uh, that's Fetty McGee. And he's been replaced by... We'll get a number shortly. And Liam Anderson takes the ball in there. It's a little drive there. Mac Russ is in there. And Will Martin's in the... Uh, Tom McCarthy's in the boot. He's come from that coffee. He's in the boot too. We've got a flank uh, winger in there. Getting in there. And the ball's come out. Zach Coffey plays halfback. Lunovic, straight ball. Liam Sturm rolling shows over the top there. Good clean out there. Nice nice and clean. And Tom McCarthy takes straight in. Good tackles though by Gisborne. And Macross again. Will Martin, he takes it in one way, but he just, just caught around the bootlaces by, uh, looks like, uh, Bronlin. And they'll take it in. Grind away here. Good leg drive there. That's great leg drive. I think that's Raha Palmer who's come on for a leggy. Once again, Jamie, Jamie Brewer. Superman dive earlier on. Raha Palmer just up there getting ready. It's a little short ball into Tom McCarthy. Still in over that. Looks like it's it looks like Gisman might have stolen this. Well, there they have. But it's uh, held up on over the line. So good work there. I think that was um, Ingram uh, by Gisman. Uh, just getting in there. He's done a lot of power work in there. It looks like the flanker. And it will be a yeah, because it was stolen, it wasn't a held up in goal. It will be a uh, scrum to Boys High. So I'm pretty sure I've got the name right. Excuse me if I haven't. It might be Braith Ingram is number seven. And we've got Dylan Bromlin and Ruben Fiatetti. This is the loose forwards for Gisborne. The referee's just the... Uh, of time, not sure what for. So Raha Palmer coming on for Leggy and has swapped into tight head. And Willie Martin's on the loose head. So all set in there. He's going forward. Liam Anderson, Mac Russ taking out the back door. Good shot on there. He he comes in there. Good hit and spin there. They're going to go to the ground, go go do their work again. Good leg drive by Hamilton Boys High. Grinding away here, grinding away. Little spec door, William Martin, he's picking, going and, and hit there, supported by Jamie Brewer. Same again, Liam Anderson, he's going to drive through. He's about a metre out, driving away, grinding. 
resilient defense by Gisborne, staying strong. And uh, Jamie Brewer trying to snuffle his way through. He's going underneath now. He's he's got a, a penalty or a try. Might be two movements. Double movement there. Stefan West has given me that one. <laughs> Just been offered a plate of food by one of the. Uh, staff here but we are going to refrain aren't we Stefan with those those sausage rolls yeah I think I need a bit of sushi there Paul something a bit more a bit more healthier but could he get it all really reverting back to those pick and goes they've done a great job all season uh, really getting towards the uh, middle of the post and nudging away at the defensive line but Turanga Tani's done a great job as well defensively and uh, holding them out so uh, Interested to see the uh, next facet of play. Yeah, it's a good good defence. And um, you know, Jamie Brewer, he's gone over the top. He tried to tunnel underneath the ground that time. Um, I think it was just a little double movement. So uh, Ben Brownlee, I'm not sure what's... It might be a penalty. Yeah, because it wasn't in the field of play, so it won't be a dropout 22. It's not a five-minute scrum, so it'll be a penalty about two metres out. So he he will probably clear the touch. Might be hands on the ground, I think it was. He he kicks it in to touch. Good kick. Um, no worries about that getting into touch. Um, Gispin, ball just uh, five metres out from their own 22. A couple of players coming on. We've got um, Swan, Liam, Liam Betty coming. Uh, sorry, we've got uh, Mitchell Swan coming on. And. Uh, Hold on, referee says hold on. So we've got Jamie Brewer coming off, Peyton Spencer coming off. And we've got um, Swan, Christian McEwen coming on, and Curtis Hanna, and also Mitchell, Sw Mitchell Swan is coming off from Macross. So emptying the bench, coming through Gisborne. First time we got the ball, we're going to drive it up there. Ha um, he he taking it in. Fox gets the ball. He's looking for his, looks like, um, it's either Joe Kemp or Gate driving in. Fox gets it out again, the hooker. And it's um, Nathaniel Kara, Karakia Niwa offloading. It's getting out the back there, Taniti. He, he takes it in. Good passage of play for Gisborne. Haven't had a lot of ball. Here's a replacement prop, and I think it's either, uh, it might be Latrell Walker or Levi Cameron, one of the two. I get a close-up of that. Um, so Gates been hitting a the tackle there by Linovic. Great uh, spot tackle there, kind of stopped the, the play there. Here we go, driving it through. Gisborne forwards, rumbling it up. Fox mixing it up again. He he, he's got a little chip and kick. He's got the great little nudge, but it's taken and uh, gone backwards. It might be forwards. Okay, so he's trying something. The general he he, he's been uh, working hard to try and get momentum. And they just fall up short after about five or six uh, phases. Some good phases there from Tūrangatāni. And we can see what they can do when they strike wide and use the ball through the hands. So, I, you know, I encourage them to uh, continue to do that throughout the second half. Uh, big full pack, good, good strong carriers in the full pack for Tūrangatāni. So looking forward to seeing what, what the, how they make the most of the, uh, the ball here. So it looks like uh, Russell uh, for Gisborne has come off and has been replaced by Xavier Tua Power and number 22. I think I've got that right. And um, we're going to set down a scrum. Just, yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he he takes it in. He's all by himself, though. Offloads. Fox gets it out the back door. It's uh, to King Maxwell. And here he is. The new chap on the block is Tua Power. He goes in, supported by. Um, Maxwell King in there in the support there. He he takes it in. Oh, knock back though. Double knock on there. So we'll have a scrum. Good defense though. And that looks like um, Joe Kemp, who um, just unfortunately just got a bit of the bobbles. Oh, shame. And so we go through. It'll be a scrum to him, boys height. Just on the 10 meter line.
Cooling great. And uh, Swan there doesn't. At the, he's got to wait till the <laughs> the referee calls set before we put the ball in. Hang on, trigger. The Hamilton boys high. 27 0 and probably about 10 or, 10 or so 15 minutes into the second half. A few changes, both everyone's uh, emptying the bench. Now, here we go, all ready to go. Going forward, boys high. And then Ali Mathis takes it off the back. He's going to go all the way. He's looking for someone coming through. But um, Zach Coffey is right there and he's got someone outside him. He's looking for someone to pop it. Zach Coffey's in there. He's looking for it. Sealed off. Liam Sturm supporting. This game's here. He's offside. Yep. That might be a, well, that might be a yellow card, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'd be. I think Brigham, um, Dylan, Bronlin. They're going quick though. William Martin, he fires it out the back. Out to Balala. And uh, that's uh, Hana and uh, Broden Robinson. Oh, yep. And that's a try. Just check. The forward pass. Or was it a late hit eye shot? Okay. Wow. Can get it or just a little bit guilty of not executing their poor. You know, Ollie Mathis had a great um, strike off the back of the scrum down this uh, 15 metre channel, and Paulie was a little bit guilty of holding on to the ball and could have passed it uh, to the two men on his inside. And I'm sure Hunter could have gotten to the try line there. What do you what do you reckon about that, Paul? Yeah, yeah, there's just, it's hard to know if they were yelling on which side, but, um, you know, once again, you know, Gisborne, they, they have a very good job of actually defence, and they, um, I'm not sure what play it was, but just put that shot on Hana over that far side, just enough to kind of make that ball go forward. Brody Robinson just overshooting a little bit. They had plenty of depth, um, you know, from the pass from um, Willie Martin in the middle out to um, uh, Tui, Tui Valala and then uh, into Hana, but he just got a little bit of a shot that just jolted it forward, but... Uh, here they are, they're still on, on the attack, Hamilton boys high, and Gisborne, as Fox gets ready to... Nice little spin of the ball there, Fox. Uh, it's pretty impressive, so as he gets ready to put it in. So... And good pressure on, oh, great pressure by boys high. Not sure where that's going to go now. I don't know why it would be a free kick, though, because it just went straight, so they didn't collapse it. Um, they're not pushing over the mark, so, you know, um, not sure what that was for. Uh, Fox just pretty much put it right under the number eight's feet there. Well, that's feed. Anyway, here we go. He, he, uh, he, he's just put into touch there. So we have another line out. Gisborne ball. Tom McCarthy. It's a four-man line-out. Sorry, it's a uh, Gisborne Bull, sorry. Uh, Karakia Niwa. Oh, bobble and one. Swan, he's going to have a go. He's going to have a bobble and go. He's got anyone with him. He's got anyone with him. Can he go? And it's a try. Oh, hard to see. He's reached out. Hard to know. Going to have to talk. Oh, the referee's closer than we were. Um, he reached out, it looks like a try, but then I <laughs> couldn't see. We haven't got a replay screen either, so it's going to be down there for the referee to play. Yeah, I think they got to determine whether or not he was held on the ground or not, and looks like he's given the try, so it definitely looked like Mitch Swan wasn't held on the ground, and that's why he's, he's had another stab at the try line, so good good uh, little dart there from uh, Mitchell Swan, the uh, replacement halfback. Yeah, and it, um, it just looked like when he pressed it down, it kind of bounced after he put it down. Um, obviously, uh, and he's just, uh, referee's just having a chat. All good. Just sees um, parted from the line-out, really. It was uh, off the Gisborne throw. And as Lunovic comes in to... Take the conversion. There'll be a peak and then they'll be done. 32 0. 
Years, Lunovic coming in to take off. Conversion. Step back, coming through, kicking it. Nice kick of the ball. He's, but he's no, no conversion there. No conversion. It stays at 32 0. And we've got a penalty on halfway, which can only happen if something happened after the ball. So something has happened for, for yep, talking Gisborne players. Um, so there is a penalty on halfway for Bulls High. So obviously didn't um, something happen back there. Good kick there. Ludovic coming down on the attack now. Hamlin Boys High line out, five in. Resulting from a penalty on halfway. Show and go there, Tama Hodgson, he's going in there. They're going to drive away there. McEwen, he's got it right in the back there, but it's fall down. They're still going. Swan, he's going to go over. Oh, he's knocked on that one, though. <laughs> Reached out again. He's very quick as Swan. He's making the most of his time. Yeah. Uh, so we have a knock on. It'll be a, a five meter scrum. He just looked like he reached out, Stefan, and just uh, just got bounced over the line. We have a scrum here. And Fox is getting ready to put the ball in. <laughs> He's, uh, he's got the spin on that ball. It's quite impressive. Reminds me back in 1987 World Cup. Sinzan Brook add Stefan. He spin the ball on his finger. <laughs> a lot of references back to 1987. The ball's gone in. Bit of pressure on. Holding their weight though this time. We got a uh, free kick last time. Ludovic comes in with a shot there. And uh, good tackle though. No way through that defence. Gisborne get the ball back. Another big tackle coming through. But bounced off there. That was... Uh, Liam Anderson putting some pressure. Oh, it's gone backwards. He, he's gone back. It's going to have to be tidied up. It'll be a five-meter scrum. Yeah, Turangatani just put under immense pressure defensively from Kirikiridora. And he, he, unfortunately, the captain from Turangatani was uh, trapped uh, along the try line there. So good opportunity here for Kirikiridora to strike five meters out with a scrum. And let's see what... Uh, they can come up with here, Paul. So just a big shout out to the guys in the middle. It's Ben Brownlee as the main uh, the referee, and we've got uh, Quinn Murphy and Josh Stevens as the AR. So uh, a young trio there, and uh, thank you for them for, for shouting the game. Scrum, Hamilton boys high ball. Packs down, steady. Going forward, Liam Anderson at the back. Swan takes it through. Lunovic, he's well and truly wrapped up by Hehe. All over it, though. Hands on it, all over it. He's got penalty. He's just, yeah, they're not supporting the body weight or anything in there. So Liam Sturm, he's just going to go, oh, I'm going to go up the middle. He's going to have a go. It's pretty messy near Gisborne, fighting hard. Proud school, putting the acid on them. Good defense. Swan gets the ball. He's caught. He's going to have a go. Another show and go. Just <laughs> flipped over and all sorts in there. Tom McCarthy's going to have a go at the ball. Supported by Liam Anderson. He's got a problem here in the background. We've just got an injury. Uh, it might be Gisborne player as boys high keep going popped out the back door Tama Hodgson that's a great try a pick and go and uh, just got a bit of an injury deck in, in, the, in the background there with Gisborne player I hope he's alright he got up so um, good little bit of work there driving play and Tama Hodgson he runs straight and go go gadget arms over the top spreading it out
Kamote Wehi, Kirikiri Roa. Another pick and go phase, and they really just kept digging towards the try line. And then once the defensive line sucked in there, uh, just hit the short pod to uh, Tama Hodgson, who went over for the try. So at the same time, got a feel for Turangatani there. I thought I thought their uh, replacement Ford uh, probably had his hands on the ball at the ruck and could have got the penalty his way, but the referee saw it the other way. And now Kirikiri Roa have an opportunity to uh, extend the lead. Can't be too much to go. It's uh, 116, so not too much time left to go. Uh, and um, the sun stayed away. I, he I hear there might be a little bit of rain about two, three o'clock. So as long as it stays away from the end of this game, because we're outside. So a little bit one step back comes in, nudges it again. He's looking right. He's got this one. Conversion. So that will be 39-0. And Gisborne gallant and trying hard. And not really kind of getting out of jail there, out of, out of their 22. And, uh, but they're trying hard to keep grinding away. There's he he looking for a ball. Water support man, he uh, <laughs> kicks it back. Not a bad nudge here, by the way. Nice high kick. He he takes it in, and it's knocked back. It's just knocked back by William Martin. Do they collect it? Oh, knock forward. Sorry, knock forward off Gisborne. So it'll be a Hamilton boys high. Scrum. Hammond oh, oh. boys high scrum. So we can cook up for the last few minutes. Both teams. Score 39 nil. Swan gets to put the ball in. Looks pretty good scrum there. Hammond boys side, put a lot of momentum there. So coming through, Lunovic. No, so they're weighing up. Lunovic there. And that looks Hana. Gets out of Brody, Brody Robinson. And uh, chip, kick and chase. I think one of the Gisborne players might have come up a bit short with a bit of, uh, bit of uh, cramp. Um, as he slowly gets back into play, hopefully he can get back and um, help defend. Gisborne ball though. They've won this one. Coming back out. Hana's going to take it in. Oh, sorry, he he. Sorry. He he takes the ball in there. Fox digs around. He's going to get it out to. Oh, slow. Oh, it's gone straight to Liam Anderson, straight to the boot. But all those players are offside. I don't know why he hasn't picked that because they're all in front of the ball carrier. Uh, McCarthy takes it. Will Martin. He's going to go one way. He's, he's got the ball out though. He's got the. Yep. Swan pops it out the back door. McEwen takes it in first touch of the ball. Christian McEwen, Swan again, good delivery there. And uh, so we've got some weighing up. White tie hanging here, just a show and go and in and out. Oh, crikey, Dick. I just popped my head down for a minute. Stefan, you might have catched that one. Caught one, that one. Yeah, great try. Great try there from Hiraka to um, get the show and go going. And the young chaps uh, scored, scored his uh, try there for the uh, Kid Kid Door side. So. That extends the lead for uh, Kitty Kitty Door, Paul. And just an update on the other Super 8 uh, first 15 fixtures uh, happening around the central North Island. We have uh, Napier currently uh, in the lead 12 0 against uh, New Plymouth. And uh, Rotorua Boys High at home 35 5 against Palmerston North. While uh, Hastings, uh, who are looking forward to uh, trying to get into that uh, Super 8 final, uh, beating Tauranga 38 15. So looks like the uh, Super 8 competition is it's a tight one this year, Paul. It is tight, and you know, like it's uh, even uh, the points don't really show a lot of the quality and um, you know the kaha that uh, a lot of the lot of teams are showing, and um, and um, she's pretty tough. The defense is pretty tough, but the, you know, there's 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 certainly um, you know, uh, boys high have done well because they've been getting bonus points earlier on, um, but it's certainly the games, all the games, are tough and tight. So um, there's a lot riding on these next few rounds. As Ludovic comes one step back. Comes through and that's a 
that's a wobbly hole on that one and uh, to the left and so he missed that conversion so I think we're up to 44 nil Waitai Hainga coming through there we'll show you go there's a bit of cramp coming in and I think the ground's not it's held up okay Stefan but it's you can see when, when, when you get a bit of if you've got forward momentum and you've got to sh you get caught on your heels gee, you get stuck in the ground that's, I think that's what happened to um, to a power there just uh, when he's coming up in the defense so he he once again he's had a lot of kickoffs today but he is uh, he's a trooper he's a general he's coming through and a beautiful kickoff there and might let it go and it's overcooked it that's the first one for today and that's a shame because he's uh, he's he's just a bit of a puff of wind really um, came up and he he's uh, he's a talented player you can tell he marshals his troops and his mates just give him a bit of a tap on the end and say hey fella it's okay it is okay so that's Tanetti coming over and giving him a bit of support and uh, it's uh, the brotherhood of rugby you pick your mates pick you up when you're down uh, nudge in the right direction when you're not going in the right direction so midfield scrum Hamilton boys high split the split uh, back line Good set, having a boys high, going forward, swan off the back, nice flat ball. Oh, it's just left behind. It's just a little bit, it was a little bit too flat there. Trying to get over the gain line, something a bit different. Not a bad time to try these things. Good defense though, read well by Gisborne. Great defense from Turangatani and they've got an opportunity on halfway to strike off their scrum and Really looking forward to seeing what they can come up with here because they haven't had a lot of the possession uh, this game there, Paul. So. And uh, we've got uh, Isra Israel Fox has come off and we've been replaced by uh, Liam Betty for Gisborne. He's come on a halfback. So he's he's the most good scrum by Gisborne. Not a lot of pressure there. He, he takes it in. He's just going to have one go. He's just going to come in there to a power. He comes to support the ball out. Betty coming through. It's the first time they really started to string a few phases through Gisborne for a while. Oh, the ball's gone backwards. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, backwards and forwards. You play an advantage. Oh, that's unlucky. That, I tell you, it's a little bit deceiving, this. this uh, I think, yeah, we've got Gisborne in the way. They're not rolling away. Ra takes the ball. Tight head prop. He bounces out of one. Pops the ball. McEwen off to Lunovic. Chip and go. Brady Robinson, will it bounce? Wasn't that podgy? Oh, it can go anywhere. It's ticked and it's popped up. Oh, that's a great try. And that's Raha Palmer. That's what you do when you're front row. You keep running and you're on the inside ball. And as I've said, that this, uh, this, this, uh, this ground is brutal. There's not a lot of bounce, but then sometimes it bounces and it goes the other way. That's uh, unfortunate for Gisborne. So, but Raha Palmer coming right through the middle there. Um, good offload there by Chris McEwen. And we also got Inga. Uh, Inga Kokohu has come on as a hookup replacement for Hamilton Boys High. Um, so good, good, good little pressure there. I'll just confirm that was Raha Palmer, eh? That came through the middle, yeah. So he did the bounce and show and go, Chris McEwen, and then Lunovic did the, the chip and chase for the backs, but the forwards popped up with it. Yeah, what a try there. What a try there from uh, Kitty Kiddo. And uh, Rahuru Palmer, he's, you know, he hasn't got a lot of height on him, Paul, but he's an absolute monster on the field with his carries. And let's see what uh, Curtis Hunter can do. He's taken over. This is our third kicker uh, this afternoon, Paul. So let's see what uh, Curtis Hunter can come up with. Hopefully he doesn't hit the uh, middle post. Yeah, I imagine uh, here he comes, coming in. Share it round. It's low and hard. Okay. And that's uh, way as well. So we'll just move on from that. So that would be 49. And a lot more with a lot of these kicks gone over, but they're enjoying the rugby out there. Hamilton boys high. An unfortunate bounce is, uh, and also the other thing we're thinking um, when the ball's up from that height and bouncing is the sun when it's coming down too, into Gisman's eyes. Got a new kick here. Yeah, he is going to kick off. It's a better kick this time. Oh, it's taken by Tama Hudson. He's going to offload it. 
Raha Palmer again. He's going to offload it, wouldn't he? He's going to go away. Show and go, the big fella. He's going to go away. No, he's going to offload it. Oh, he's taken a tackle. It's a try. No. He's just going to slow it down. <laughs> oh, we well, couldn't quite see there. We we're kind of watching on the on the. Uh, got blocked out by a break. It's a try. It's a try. Raha Palmer. Well, I'll pass you over Stefan because he uh, he saw the last two seconds of that. What a monster of a run there from Raharuhi Palmer. And as I said earlier, he's got really strong carries. He's not the tallest prop that you'll see, but absolute animal on the field. And I was about to make another Warriors reference, uh, Paul, but I, I better not get myself fired this week. Yeah, it was a good, good offload. And once again, we've got plenty of guys who are off as supporters, going to support uh, off to his right. And uh, But he kept on going, and it just kept on going and going and going. So, yeah, the big, the big forwards are having a bit of fun now, um, getting in the game. Curtis Hanna is going to have a, another crack at this conversion. Four nil, and um, so we've got uh, pretty much the, the tight forwards have gone pretty well today. We've got um, there's a few few dots, got two two props and two two locks uh, scoring tries. Blinker, Raha Palmer, two sec. Here we go, Curtis Hanna. Further back, Stefan, I think, with his kick, it's uh, gone a couple of bits. Maybe he's just changed his kick off here. It's coming straight in. He's nudged it, but no, that's not going to find any touch there. So, 54 0 is what we got. Score with man, he's, he's, he, uh, he's uh, changing. Changes, there cannot be much more to go today. He kicks off again. Kokahu takes the ball in. He bounces off one. Drives through. Good leg drive from the replacement hooker. Sealed off. William Martin going out the back door. Lunovic. To Huvala. It's going to Hana. Brady Robinson. He's got some gas. He's going to go in and out, in and out. As he supported. Great tackle there by, uh, I think it was the flanker there. I think it was Dylan Bronlin. Good work by... Uh, Liam Anderson, oh great work with Christian McEwen, he's gone straight through the guts, he's going to go all the way, Kenny, Kenny keep going, Kenny keep going, he's just pulled short, good defence by Gisborne, they're all over the ball. Good running there, they're going to ferret the ball out, Swan's ferreting, William Martin's out in the back, they get the ball out wide, and it's gone out there, it's slowly, and it's uh, Oli Mattis, he's got the dots down for two. He's going to play there. Chris McEwen just saw the gaps. He's great. He's come back from an injury with his foot. It's his second, second game in, really. And um, he's uh, get on the board. The big fella, he's, uh, he's put on. He's been training because he's been off his feet. So great run there. And just about went all the way for the tight forwards. So uh, another dot there for Oli Mathis. And uh, as we see, uh, Hanna's going to... He's got plenty of, plenty of uh, conversion practice today. So we can nail it from the other side of the field. 59. And, uh, but you've got to, you've got to take your hats off. Like Brody Robinson is one of the quickest ones around and he's shut down. And what a huge amount of work that Dylan Bronlin's doing. And Braith Ingram and uh, Ruben Fiteri, they are doing some massive amount of work. So they shut down that and unfortunately, uh, you know, then the big rigs come through the middle. But, uh, yeah, um, what's your thoughts there, Stefan? i got to agree, Paul. You know, uh, Turangatani have, uh, you know, they've, they've conceded a few points, but they've still played with a lot of heart um, this afternoon. So, you know, keep the heads up, boys, and uh, maybe they'll get one more uh, opportunity to strike. And must I say, Paul, I, I have been impressed with Kitty Kitty Raw's uh, bench because they've come off and really done a great job in bringing the impact. And as the referee, I've been calls full time. 
So, you know, uh, thank you very much for joining in, everyone, from wherever you are, from Gisborne supporters to to Kirikiri Rao supporters, uh, Hamilton boys, hi, around the world. Uh, we thank you for tuning in. And um, a massive big thanks to Ben Brownlee, Quinn Murphy, and Josh Stevens, the, uh, the, the guys in the middle, the ARs and the, the referees. Um, much respect to Chris, Gisborne boys high and the way they played. Um, very you know, proud uh, school and... Uh, so, you know, they've, uh, they've battled away right to the end. Uh, big thanks to Sam, our cameraman, and Stefan to my right. I'll get him to wrap up in a second. Um, but the Hamilton boys high taking the win 59-0. Um, a convincingly slow grind uh, and uh, positive play by Hamilton boys high. So a big thank you from me, Paul Martin. I'll sign off and I'll, I'll let uh, Stefan have the last word in a bit of today. Oh, kia ora, boy. Kia ora, boy. And uh, kia pai to uh, Rā Whakatau e te whanau and... Uh, you know, have a great weekend. Uh, keep safe. Do the right things, and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you again. Kaki te ano.